Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. Hi team, welcome to day 27 of this 30 day challenge. And today's game is called a Jersey Relay. And you may have heard this before, it's a very popular thing to do. Um, I use it at field day a lot at the end of the school year and the kids always have so much fun with it. Um, for ages, I would say the younger kids would have more fun than the older kids, but it's something that you can do. You can choose to do it with your team if you'd like. If you think they would have fun with it, then by all means, go ahead and do it. Um, equipment, you are going to need some of your clothing. So. If if you're a coach watching this, you're going to need some bigger clothing that your kids can get in and out of pretty easily. Um, and if they're running with the clothing on, that's the whole idea of the relay. If they're running with the clothing on, it kind of gets in the way and it kind of makes it hard to run. Um, but you're going to need some of your bigger clothing for the younger kids to wear. Um, so if you have any jerseys, like your own jersey, that would be a lot of fun. Or a simple shirt and shorts or anything like that that you have. The clothing just needs to fit big and baggy on your players just so, like I said, for two reasons they can get it on and off pretty easily and when you're running it kind of gets in the way and makes it hard to run um, so the equipment that you'll need is some big baggy clothing like a jersey or a shirt and shorts or anything like that uh, where you're gonna play wherever you want to do a relay race I would say the outfield just because there's more space um, and how you play it is very simple you have two teams and you have a relay team let's say one two three four right and then you have team two over here you could have more than two teams if you wanted like three or four teams that would be fine I would say maybe four people per team. Um, there are two ways that you can do it. You can have two people over here and what, let's say the other way you would have two people here and then you would have two people on the other side here. So it's just a one-way race. You could have a one-way race or a two-way race. Um, either way you want to do it. But the whole idea is that the clothing starts on the ground. So let's say that the clothing starts here in front of every team. The first player who goes has to put the shirt on over top of their clothing, obviously. Put their shirt on and then put the shorts on. And then once they have the clothing on, they run run to their other side and if you're doing a one-way race the this next person would be the next if you're doing a two-way race the person would run they would go down to like around a cone or any destination that you set up as a finish line they would run around that and then they would come all the way back once they get to their destination where they're gonna change people, the person who's running with the clothing, they have to take the clothing off or the jersey off, and then they get back in line, and then they give it to the next person. So the next person has to put the shorts on or the t-shirt on, and then they run to the next player, they take it all off, and then the next player puts it on, and that's the whole relay, right? Um, it's just a lot of fun for the kids because especially if they're younger, like six or seven years old, and they're wearing this big shirt and this big shorts, and they're trying to run with it, and they're kind of tripping over it it's just it's a lot of fun for the kids um, and it's just something really fun that you can do for some conditioning at the end of the day or at the end of the practice and that's really the whole idea of the jersey relay some people call it a clothing relay um, but you're just gonna need some of your big clothing like jerseys or anything like that where the kids can put it on easily and take it off easily and when they're running it kind of gets in the way and they might trip over it or whatever um, but this is just another relay race that you can do that's a lot of fun for the kids and you can even do like some prizes if you have like a bar barbecue as a celebration at the end of the season. This is something that you could do for like a little prize or something like that. Um, but this is just another idea for another relay race to have some fun for some conditioning or some for a prize or any way you want to use it. So hopefully you enjoyed day 27. Tomorrow is day 28. I will be here with a brand new game. We are almost done with this month and 30 day challenge. I hope you've gotten so much out of these games and I hope you have so many new ideas for your practices. So I'll see you tomorrow.
So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go. It's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.